come put some thrift finds away with me. I love to thrift, but I love to style, store, and organize my thrift finds even more. So let's get to it. I am so excited about this little tree frame piece, <laughs> but we aren't going to start there. Halloween is sneaking up on me. I got to get this Halloween stuff out. I bought this little blow mold at the flea market and I had an extra light. So while my husband takes out the spikes, I'm going to look for the extra light. Thankfully, it was in the storage room with the light bulbs, so I could find it right away. I got so excited about the pumpkins, I almost forgot to start with earrings. I like to start with them so they have plenty of time to soak. If you've been here long, you know I soak my thrifted earrings in hydrogen peroxide for 15 to 20 minutes, or more sometimes. I throw the bags away, and this little baggie will go in the baggy baggy. And yes, my kids know not to use it for food. My husband got the spikes out, and so I'm going to clean it up. I think I'm going to put this inside. I already have two Halloween blow molds on my front porch, so I really don't need this one, and I think it would be really cute inside. It's pretty gross though, so I was trying to clean out the inside as best I could. There were a few dead bugs in there. After creatively trying to clean it out, I'm going to get the light, and it fits perfect. The lights are so cheap, and they usually come in a pack of two. I absolutely love this pumpkin light, but it just has never quite fit in with Halloween, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and save it for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to put this blow mold here. We have a grommet to run cords down and they go through the cabinet into here next to all of our DVDs. And so I can just open this cabinet to turn it on and off. I'll put the grommet back and put it into place and I love it. It's going to be perfect for spooky night. So I changed the lighting so you guys can see how it'd be on a family movie night. Probably a little darker still, but you get the idea. Moving on, let's go ahead and do my two trinkets. I have this little fuse tin with one fuse in it still and a little coffee cup. I have done some switching around again on the shelf, so I'm kind of pointing in general directions of changes, but um, I will update you in another video. For this one, though, I'm going to move this onion up and put this little fuse box next to the Tums. For some reason, it just feels like those three go together for some reason. And the coffee cup has its own shelf. It's continuing to come together. I love it. I love the pops of color. It's so fun to have that trinket shelf. Next, I have this dish towel. It does go with like the blue of my island and I have yellows in here. I'm going to hang it up and use it. We love usable thrift finds. This candle I thought I would put up here. I don't know why it just felt like it could go there, but it did look kind of weird next to the other pumpkin and it was too short to sit on that shelf. So now I'm gonna try it in this space. I do think there needed to be a pop of orange down there and I couldn't put it on the left because the two pumpkins stacked, but I love it here and it looks really cute next to the bell. Next, I thought this was an egg holder and so many of you guys said it was an eye wash. I don't know if it is or not, but we're gonna lean in and put an eyeball in it. I thought it would be cute next to my potion bottles and it's giving Sanderson sisters book. I was going to sing it, but I'm going to spare you guys. <laughs> I really like the Halloween look of it. Moving on to this handkerchief. Yes, I do wash all of my linens. So both the hand towel and this have been washed. I thought it matched my primary bedroom better than it actually does, <laughs> but I still love the colors and I'd like to work it in. I recently found two accordion racks and I used one for my husband's hats for more function than style. And I wanted to hang it here to make it look cute. It just didn't work out. So I thought I might put it under the TV because this area is very barren and I think it's giving like mini coffin, but I'll continue to rework that area in the future. It looks good for now. Moving on to this tree, you guys, I really didn't know what to do with this. So let's talk about it while I clean my earrings with alcohol wipes. I don't have family pictures that small. I think they need to be black and white. I think it's kind of weird to have our family of five on there. Then I thought about decorative pictures, but they're just so small. So while I take my earrings to my closet to be put away, I'm still racking my brain on what to put in those picture frames. I love red earrings, so I have two red containers and I think it'll fit in this one. So I'm gonna throw those in and do I have too many red? No, nope, I don't. <laughs> Fits perfectly. So back to the frame, I've just decided I'm gonna clean it and take these pictures out. I'm gonna donate them because the ghosts might live with me if I keep them and I don't wanna throw them away. When I took them out, the shape of them reminded me of stamps and I thought, you know what? I happen to have a whole bunch of vintage stamps. They were in the bottom of a greeting card box I got one time. They were too cool to throw away and they are so neat. I wish they didn't have the postmarks across them, but I love it. I'm going to display it more prominently during fall, but for right now and Halloween, I'm gonna put it right here over my desk, which feels fitting, right? Not the best place, but I absolutely adore it, love it. Thanks for coming along, guys.